Hi everyone, my name is Marisa Stone, owner of the Systems Lounge and host of the brand spanking new Women's Biz Systems Podcast. And I want to welcome you today to the 2019 Premier International Women's Business Systems Virtual Summit Speaker Spotlight Series. This is an opportunity for you to get to know many of our speakers inside the summit way before the summit goes live. And this week we are talking to those speakers inside track and I am super excited to have Rose Colorossi here. She is one of our speakers who is talking about networking like a millionaire. And let me tell you, this woman has all the stories and all the, um, the tried and true steps and tricks and strategies all about networking. So I want to remind you that September 23rd is when the summit goes live. The link is in the description of this live session, so you are welcome to go snag that, but let's dive in and get to know Rose. Rose, I'm so excited to have you here, welcome. Thank you, I'm so excited to be here. So one of the things that we were talking about prior to jumping on here in the Speaker Spotlight series was this idea of business cards. <laughs> And they drive me crazy because everyone wants to hand me a business card. And you know me, I am extremely organized and everything has a place in my home, mm -hmm. but I have no clue what to do with the mountain of business cards I end up with. And a lot of times I will hire somebody to come in and put them all in my contacts and then, you know, I shred the business cards. It's, there's got to be a better way. We are in 2019. <laughs> <laughs> well, there is. So I will tell you the number one thing that drives people crazy with networking, with regards to networking is business cards, right? And so I went on this journey of, okay, how many people are really handing them out? What are they doing with them? You know, how much of a waste is this? Yeah. Okay. Fact, 15 billion trees a year for business cards. Very relevant with what's going on right now, right? With the rainforest. Oh, wow. okay. I had no idea. Yes, 88%, what do you hear this? 88% of the business cards that you're handing out, 88% end up in the trash in yeah. the first week without them ever inputting your contact information. Yes. So you're out there. So you've had the business card made, you've paid for it. Mm -hmm. You're out there networking. You're spending money. Usually it's breakfast or lunch or whatever the meeting is. fee is. You're yeah. handing out your business cards and they're either ending up in the trash or in a drawer. Yep. And guess what? Your contact information, everything else has been lost. And I have found the solution. Yes. This is why we hang out. This is why you come to the Speaker Spotlight Series, because we get all of these really cool tips and tricks. Please tell me, because I think if I get another business card, I might barf. Okay, so there is a company out there that has a web-based digital business card. Love it. Okay, this thing, so I have looked, you know I have been looking and searching and researching and working with companies, you're this is web-based. <laughs> oh, it's been a while. Web-based. It's absolutely incredible. Your digital card has all of your information. It's almost like a landing page as a business card. So it, and they develop it however you want, but it has a button on it. And when we go through the podcast, I can show you pictures of this. I'll have links to it, but for instance, mine. It has, you click a button, you can call me. You click a button, you add my entire digital business card to your contacts, which includes a button link to my website. Nice. Every time somebody clicks that button, my Google rankings go up. Nice. So I'm at a networking event and someone says, hey, I'd love to get your business card. I go, fantastic. You know what? I'm trying to save the planet and I want to make sure that my contacts get into yours yeah. What's your email? And I email it to them and it's in there. And all they do is hit one button. It says add to contacts. Yeah. Now, does this link? work whether your contacts are on iOS or Android? Yes. On both. Brilliant. Your website, Brilliant. your social media platforms 
each button links right to the social media platform. Oh, I love it. Also, if you want to put videos, testimonials up and they give you as many updates in a year as you want. So say, you know, you and I do workshops, we do retreats. I send that out, but wait till you hear this. I mean, it's amazing. You get a monthly report of everyone who's opened up your digital card, everyone who has forwarded your digital card, who they forwarded to, and their email addresses. Nice. And they very easily download into your CRM software. How amazing <laughs> is that? So we're saving the planet and it's our responsibility, right? Like as an entrepreneur, a solopreneur, we have to make sure that we make it easy for that other person to be able to reach us, whether it's for business to business or to refer us. Yeah. You can't make it that much easier. No. So yeah. This is the solution. That is and true. I'm working with this company so that they can give a special network, like a millionaire discount or a special just for your people, just oh for God. your summit. Oh yeah. my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm I so know. excited. I am okay. too. Dare we ask you what the platform is? It's called IntelliCard USA. Intellicard. Okay. Intellicard USA. <laughs> but let me tell you, you're going to go there and it's still incredible. It's 124 the first year with a $25 one-time setup fee yeah. and $99 every year thereafter. Now, how let me just spend at least that much on business cards. I cannot even tell you how many times I've ordered business cards. Of course. It's $50 a pop and anytime anything changes, and I have to update said business card. It's another $50 a pop. And that business card goes directly into the trash. And it is yes. useless. Yes. So, oh my God, I feel like the networking heavens have opened up and just shined down on us. Well, let me tell you, IntelliCard did some of their own research. Because I said, okay, give me some statistics. You know, you and I love statistics. Yeah. Said, okay. He said, we researched how many business cards it takes just to like increase your business by like two, two and a half percent. It takes yeah. 2,000 business cards. Yeah. He said, let me just tell you, 240 paper cards might be kept, but most of them aren't. 1,600 digitals are shared. That's 1,600, that's 600% more. Yeah. I just went, oh my goodness, this yeah. is it's, I have to tell you, I have never been so excited over a platform and you know me, I love technology. I'm not the yeah. greatest at it, but this is, let me tell you how easy. Now, you know me, I touch something and it blows up. <laughs> You're the master of systems. <laughs> I love systems. systems and all I find them. You guys, you, you have <laughs> no idea. <laughs> I blow it up. There's one form, you fill it out, you send it in. They go to your website, they pull your colors. They pull right. everything, they put it together, they send it to you and they say, do you want anything changed? Wow. <laughs> it's less than $9 a month. I mean, it's incredible. So I've never been so excited. So when we do the oh podcast, I'll, I'll the if they want to go, there will be a link. It will be tiny URL forward slash roses digital. That's all they have to go to. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Wow. I am so impressed. Yeah. Yet again, I, I love, love, love hanging out with you and talking to you all about networking because every single time you make my life a little bit easier. <laughs> well, ditto. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is brilliant, guys. You definitely want to check that out. And you certainly do not want to miss Rose's session inside the summit. And that will be coming up inside track four in the summit um, in September, September 23rd through the 27th. But we absolutely do not want to let you out of here without inviting you into the hot seat. So the hot seat is this opportunity where we ask you tons of questions about you, things that most people do not know, and, and you just share with us openly and sure. you're ready. Let's I'm ready. All right. So the first question I want to ask you is what's your favorite food? Tough. It's either a great salad or pizza, a good pizza. So one of those. <laughs> yeah, one of the two. Both one of the two, two right? <laughs> okay, how about your favorite beverage? 
Oh, that's easy. Grapefruit LaCroix. That's right. Grapefruit that's right. LaCroix. I love this stuff. And that's you were just telling me that you also add something to it. The other night you were talking about fresh grapefruit or there's some, there's another seltzer out there that has fresh grapefruit, but that's my absolute favorite. Love it. Love it. Okay. What about your favorite season of the year? Oh, I love the summer in the pool at the beach. It's the summer. Me too. Oh, I know. <laughs> a sun bomb. I love my summertime. Okay. You know, the systems queen can't let you out of here without asking you, what is your favorite piece of technology? IntelliCard, digital business <laughs> card. That is it. I mean, I am so excited about this platform. I, I mean, I just can't tell enough people. It's that fantastic. I love My it. My business card just in the first month is out in like 1,200 people's hands. Yeah. I mean, it's crazy. It's brilliant. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's pretty cool. I, I, I thought she was going to get on to me and say, none of it, Marisa. So <laughs> No, I love it. I that love it. my little, you know, mousy kind of voice when I asked her that question. No, I love it. Okay. Are you a morning or a night person? Night. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Gold or silver? Gold. Coffee or tea? Tea. Okay. Herbal teas, regular, just kind of? Uh, English breakfast or Irish breakfast in the morning and then herbal teas throughout the day. Nice. I love it. Chocolate or caramel? Ooh, the darkest of dark chocolate with a little caramel and sea salt on top. There you go. <laughs> We're just blending in our own way. Yeah. Um, <laughs> iOS or Android? Um, iOS. Of course. And what is one of your weird quirks that most people don't know about you? Oh, so, ooh. Um, so I'm very outgoing. So everybody thinks, you know, I love always being out there and around people. But what a lot of people don't know is that um, I'm an HSP. People can look that up. So yeah. I really, when I'm done speaking on stage or at a networking group, I need to go have that downtime. I need quiet time. I need time just for myself. I meditate. I do yoga. I go out in nature. And a lot of people find that very hard to, like, I love just quiet, quiet time. And I need it. I need it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm so right there with you. You know, after being on, especially with an event of this magnitude, yeah. after being on for so long, I just need to like not talk. <laughs> yeah. 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 You have to renew and refresh. Yes, exactly. Okay. What about a bucket list item you have not yet completed? Oh, I'm pretty good about completing my list. Um, what have I not done? Hmm. Wow, I have done a lot. Uh, oh, this is the toughest one. I've probably done a lot. I love to travel. So there's many places that I'd still like to go. I haven't been to Alaska. I haven't been to Seattle, which is crazy. That is um, crazy. Or Chicago or New, or New Orleans, but I've been all around the world. So that's, <laughs> so I would put those on there, I those, guess. Those three, yeah. <laughs> you know, but I've done crazy, you know, I've jumped out of a plane. I've done a lot of stuff. So I'm pretty lucky. I, you know, I believe in living. So yeah, yeah. Sure. not bucket yeah. less, like we got to do it. So yeah, yeah I guess more travel. Okay. All right, cool. So, so now definitely road trip to Seattle. Road trip. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know about road trip, probably a flight. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And the last question I want to ask you is what motivates you to support your audience the way you do and make such a difference for them? Uh, probably because I have been through the ups and downs mm -hmm. and I know that feeling of being behind the eight ball mm -hmm. and it's not a fun feeling. Mm -hmm. And so anything that I can do to empower women, um, to do better, to be better, to understand their greatness, to see them the way I see them and then empower them for financial freedom, because I believe that's really, really important um, so that keeps me motivated as well as, you know, my kids yeah. and my grandkids, right? Exactly. exactly. I know that, um, yeah. but it's our passion. That's what we want to do. We want to help as many people not have to go through the hardships that we went through. And I think that's, that's a great motivator. For sure. And I love, love, love that you describe it like that. I think every single speaker inside this summit has a similar story in that they've they've gone through something yeah. and now they've figured out a way to shorten someone else's experience with yeah. regard to going through something similar. And so thank you so much, Rose, for coming on here, sharing with us, allowing us to put you in the hot seat and learn a little bit more about you. Guys, you definitely want to make sure that you do not miss her session. 
um, the link is going to be in the description or in the um, title of this event. Definitely go check it out. If you go to the landing page, you can scroll all the way down to track four and take a look at the speakers inside that session and you'll see Rose's Networking Like a Millionaire right there. And I know you are not gonna wanna miss that session. Rose, it's been such a pleasure hanging out with you. Thanks for having me. I'm so excited. I'm so proud of you for putting this together. So I'm, I'm excited about the podcast interview. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It is gonna be a lot of fun. Thank you so much, Rose. We will see you guys later and we will see you guys in the next Speaker Spotlight. Bye everyone.